Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 19th, 99th Energy Drink Review video, and it's 10.27 a.m., and it's Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. Yeah, my next review is going to be my 2,000th review, so oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, I finally got um both designs of this drink that I'm going to be reviewing today, because I'm this flavor of this new G Fuel Energy Drink. Um, it came out in two different can designs. One was a GNC exclusive, and one is a Vitamin Shop exclusive. My Vitamin Shop, um, yeah, my Vitamin Shop was able to get, like, um, a lot of cans of this flavor, but, um, my GNC didn't even get any cans of this flavor. So, I was gonna be trading Energy Drink Josh, but I actually haven't traded him yet. Um, but the guy who's filming for the documentary Project Jeff, he, like, ordered me a case. Um, so yeah, I got that a couple of days ago, so now I got both can designs, so now I was able to film this review, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to film this review with both can designs to show them off, you know? Um, but um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Strawberry Guava Coconut Glitch Mix Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Limited Edition G Fuel Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the, um, Vitamin Shop design. It's like a more of a purplish looking can. Shows um, Miles Morales as a Spider-Man. It's like a dimensional, like, um, interdimensional, like, portal thing. Haven't seen the Spider-Verse movie, so I'm not really for sure exactly what's going on. Um, but yes, you can see the strawberries, the guavas, and the coconut. Really cool looking can, I like the look of it. But I'm also got the, um, vitamin shop design. Um... Uh, vitamin shop, I guess these cans are like probably around the same price as the ones that vitamin shop was, which is like $3 a can, but, um, the case that Jeff ordered online was like, I think $32 before shipping, so it was probably like around $40 for one case, so thanks Jeff. Um, but yeah, I guess it's okay price per can though, so like almost like, um, a dollar something a can maybe. Um, but yeah, this is the GNC design. This one's more red instead of more purple. This one actually shows, like, Spider-Gwen on it, too. And, um, some other character. I'm really not for sure of that character's name, though. Um, but this one, I think, actually looks a little bit more minimalistic compared to the other one. Because this one only shows the, um, strawberry, the guava, and the coconut by the flavor name. The other one was, like, down here on the side and stuff. So this one's a little bit different. Still a really cool looking can though. I'm not really for sure which one I'm going to be using for the thumbnail though. Um, but yeah. And I'll get the purple one. But yeah, it has a silver top with a silver tab. Bomb is um, the production code. It's a little bit hard to see though, because uh, silver text against a silver background. But yeah, I'll show it off up close to though in a minute. Around the top it says zero sugar, 140 milligrams caffeine, game changing energy, laser focus, limited edition. Strawberry guava coconut, Spider Man across the Spider Verse, exclusively in theaters. G Fuel Energy Drink Glitch Mix, naturally and artificially flavored, 16 fluid ounces, 1 pint, 473 milliliters, 0 calories per can. Game changing energy, focus, endurance, immunity, and mood, and shows um, some Spider Man symbols, like um, Spider Man's like face and like the um, spider symbols and stuff. 140 milligrams caffeine per can, 0 calories per can, 0 sugar per can, 0 artificial colors. Feel your gaming, fitness, work, and lifestyle. Um, at G Fuel Energy has a Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok logos, and Twitch logos. Copyright 2023 Marvel 2023. SPA all rights reserved. Has this key with a warning. Too much caffeine may cause sickness, irritability, nervousness, and possible rapid heartbeat. Not recommended for use by individuals under the age of 18 months serving with G Fuel. Fights through 140 milligrams caffeine. Some vitamins are likely to degrade at the time of manufacturing. Caution not use this part for your pregnant nursing, not consume this part if you have any medical condition and are taking any prescription drug. This part contains caffeine and should not be used with any other products containing caffeine. This part is intended for use by healthy individuals only. Um, user of this part assumes all liability if used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. Other ingredients, carbonated water, citric acid, sodium gluconate, potassium, beta-hydroxybutyrate, natural artificial flavors, 
malic acid, vitamin and amino acid blend, vitamin C, sodium azorbate, lithium, l tyrosine, zinc gluconate, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, potassium sorbate preservative, potassium citrate, caffeine, isulfame, potassium, sucralose, green coffee bean extract, green tea extract, turmeric extract, tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, and kale. It's, it's interesting, all the G fuels have like um, vegetables in the ingredients. Um, but yeah, nutrition facts, for says one can, 473 milliliters, amount per serving, calories zero, total fat zero grams per percent, sodium 65 milligrams, three percent. Carbohydrate zero grams per percent, total sugar zero grams, includes zero grams, added sugar zero percent, protein zero grams. Potassium 210 milligrams, four percent, niacin four milligrams, 25 percent. Vitamin B12, 0 0.6 micrograms, 25 percent. Vitamin C, 45 milligrams, 50 percent. Vitamin B6, 0 0.4 milligrams, 25 percent. Zinc, 2.2 milligrams, 20 percent. Served by G Fuel LLC, 100 Wireless Boulevard. Apoge, New York, 11788. Questions or comments, call telephone numbers 877-46-6262. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it right quick. I'll show off the other can, but I'm not going to read it off because it's pretty much the same. Same ingredients and everything. Strawberry, guava, coconut. Very interesting mix of flavors. And spoiler warning, I already had like two cans of this flavor. I already had like um two of the red one. And yeah, the other red one tastes the same as the purple can one. I like that look. Reminds me of like um vaporwave or synth wave stuff with all the purple and the blue. Like home resonance and stuff. Someone's like driving a lawnmower down the, my road. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. But um, they changed it. Was it did say like fuel your greatness before. Now it says gaming, fitness, um, work and lifestyle. So that's interesting. Production code. Like um, two days ago, my Google Pixel 7, it's like its camera lens, um, the glass in front of it, like randomly broke in my pocket. I didn't know this before I got it, but um, I guess it's like a, like a defect that was happened to a lot of the Google Pixel 7s. I guess because the glass can't like expand or something. So it's like um, randomly shatters, like if you're going from like a cold temperature to like a hot temperature. You know, at my work, I work at a, like a glass factory, so it's like really hot during the summer. But um, when I go in the break room, it's like cool. So I guess the temperature like messed with it or something. I'm like broke in my pocket. But I looked online and said, um... Google might be able to fix it for free, but I have a warranty with Best Buy, but, um, since Google might fix it for free at the You Break, I Fix It place, I might try to do that first. But my next paycheck, I was going to go to, um, that You Break, I Fix It to get a new phone battery for my Google Pixel 4, so I was going to have it as, like, a backup. But, yeah, my next payday, I don't have to pay a car payment anymore, because I just paid off my car, like, um, last month. Well, actually, at the beginning of this month. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole purple can. I'm going to show off the red can right quick. Top and the bottom's like pretty much the same and like the side and stuff. This one, the text I think stands out a little bit more. like the text against the red background I don't know it looks better to me anyway on the red can but yeah and my um 12 pack of these um I only had two good condition ones all the other ones were like the bottoms were like busted out or the top was like busted out um this one and one other one were the only two good condition ones this one's still dented at the front though but um I might use the other one actually for my Instagram photo. If I had to like push out the bottom of it, I guess, once I drink it, or like um, poke it inwards, I guess. Because the other one won't stand flat at the bottom, but it's like flat at the top though. 
So the, that one was like the only other good one at the top. But this one's like pretty much good at the top and the bottom, so that's why I'm using this one for the video. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So now anyway, now I'm going to show off both cans up close right quick, so hold on a minute. The Strawberry Guava Coconut um, Glitch Mix G Fuel. It's the Vitamin Shop exclusive design. This one's like all purple. Definitely different uh, dimensional. Definitely glitch mixy, I guess. Shows the strawberries, the guavas, and the coconuts. Silver top, silver tab. Comes Best Buy Dating Production Code. August 2nd, 2025. That's one of the 140 milligram caffeine G fuels. Sorry, the focusing, well, the colors of the backgrounds, like, all blurry and messed up on it. Because my phone, like, messed up when it was in my pocket. Because, um, it's like, a defect with the Google Pixel 7s where, like, um, the back glass, like, breaks randomly. It, like, broke randomly in my pocket. When I took it out, I noticed it. So, I'm going to have to get it fixed. But, um, I said Google should be able to fix it for free, though, but I have a warranty with Best Buy, so... If Google doesn't fix it, I can just do it through Best Buy, I guess. So, hopefully you can see the, this can good. Choose a Spider-Man. It's a limited edition flavor. It's like Spider-Man symbols. It's a little bit different than like the other G fuels. Paint's a little bit scraped up, but not too bad. This key, the warning. So I'm having a little bit hard time focusing because the lens is messed up. Well, not really the lens, like half of the glass in front of the lens is missing, but um still glass on like the other half. And like in front of it, you know. Okay, nutrition facts. Yeah, it's not one to focus. Okay, that's pretty much the entire cam design. It looks really cool. Anyway, now I'm going to show off the um, GNC designs. Hold on a minute. Here's the Strawberry Guava Coconut G Fuel Glitch Mix um, that I got from Jeff. Um, all the cans were like in really bad condition. They're all like pointed out at the top or the bottom. This one's only pointed out a little bit at the bottom, but the top is like fine though. But um, it does have a little bit of a dent at the front though. And scraped up a little bit too, but oh well. It was best condition one and my um, 12 pack. But yeah, this can is like very red and it shows another character besides Spider-Man. And it also shows, I guess, Spider-Gwen. And it shows the strawberry, the coconut, and the guava at the top of the can on this one. Instead of like on the side. 140 milligrams caffeine, same as the other one, laser focus. Game changing energy. Yes, it's game changing energy on the older G Fuels that I reviewed. It said, um, I think it said extreme energy or like extreme performance. Glitch Mix Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. 
has like a polka dotted background too. It's Miles Morales, limited edition G Fuel. Has Spider Man symbols. I really like the look of these Spider Man G Fuels. SKU. Some production codes and the warnings. This one's a little bit easier to focus on it. Other ingredients. Nutrition facts. The distributor information. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, now I'm gonna finish my review for it. So hold on a minute. Both cans up close. Now anyway, I'm gonna shake up the vitamin shop one. I'm gonna open it, taste it, and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. But um, the, the other one tastes pretty much the same though, and same color and stuff too of the liquid. But yeah, the color of the liquid, it's like a it looks clearish, but um. When I poured the red one out into like a cup at work, um, so I could drink it, you know, because it had the messed up bottom. Actually, it was more like a, sort of looked like a sugar-free rock star color, like a off-white clearish. But yeah, mostly it looks clearish though. Definitely carbonated, definitely bubbly. Definitely smells pretty good. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely smell the strawberry and the guava. Don't really smell the coconut though. Still it has a very good scent. Um, definitely reminds me of some other strawberry guava drinks that I've had before. Like the strawberry guava. Um, like the um, My Muse drink. And also the strawberry guava Celsius. It smells a lot like those. It has that same fruity sweet candy strawberry scent but um the guava is definitely like a tropical guava, but it's not like a earthy type of guava. It's definitely more of like a sweet guava. Definitely doesn't smell like the old guava rock star though, which was in like the purple can. I really miss that flavor because it discontinued like several years ago. It's like purple and yellow, the can was. This doesn't smell like that type of guava though. That one was like a, definitely a way more of like a tropical guava, almost like a banana guava. Um, but yeah, this definitely has a strawberry guava scent, but, um, yeah, I don't really smell the coconut, though. It does might, well, it might have a little bit of, like, a coconutty tropical scent. Reminds me of a little bit of a, maybe if you mix, like, a strawberry guava drink with, like, a, um, pina colada drink, um, that's what this would be like. It does have a, little, have a little bit of, like, a pina colada scent. Even though pina colada is, like, pineapple, this doesn't have any pineapple. Um, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, still smells a little bit like, um, like a pina colada scent. So, yeah, this actually reminds me of, like, the, the Vice City Red Con 1 energy drink. That one was sort of like a, um, a strawberry pina colada drink. Except this has a little bit of a guava scent, too, though. So it's a little bit different than the Red Con 1. It still smells pretty similar, though. Um, still smells really good, though, but, um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yep. Tastes really similar to the Vice City Redcon 1. Has a similar, um, sweet candy strawberry flavor, but, um, definitely like a tropical taste. Um, definitely reminds me of like a pina colada, like a strawberry pina colada. So it reminds me of like the strawberry colada, like, um, Ray's energy drink, too. A little bit like the berry colada, um, goat fuel. So this one's a little bit more of a, I don't know why the G Fuel, like energy drinks, have a little bit more of like a syrupy concentrated flavor to me anyway. While the G Fuels have mostly like a base flavor, I guess. Um, a lot of the G Fuels taste pretty similar. Um, this has that G Fuel sort of taste, but um, 
with that strawberry guava flavor added though. Sweet, a little tart, not too tart and it's actually not too sweet either. It's pretty mellow of a flavor. Um, you can probably check it if you want to, it's not too carbonated. I already drank like almost half the can. But yeah, it's really good, but um, it doesn't taste too unique though. Definitely tastes similar to like some other drinks that I've had before. So this one has more of a syrupy flavor compared to the other like drinks too though. So it's a little bit um different. But yep, still pretty good though. It's actually a pretty good G Fuel, but um, I don't think it's my favorite G Fuel though. Still think I like the um Naruto Sage Mode G Fuel best, and then um. I don't know, there's a few other ones that I like too, but um, this one's still pretty good though. This one's like one of my favorites. But anyway, now I'm going to try the red one, even though, you know, it tastes pretty much the same though. Okay, I opened the red one, and yet the color is the same as the purple can one. It has a little bit of like a clearish color, definitely a little bit carbonated, a little bit bubbly, but um, anyway, the scent, yep, same as the purple can one. Sweet candy strawberry with a little bit of a tropical guava scent. Yep, tastes the same too. Pretty good flavor. Um, yeah, definitely tastes the strawberry even the most, but um, I don't know, I'd probably say it's about like um, 60% strawberry. Maybe like 30% guava, maybe only like 10% of the coconut. But to me, the coconut's definitely more like a pina colada sort of taste though, not really just a coconut flavor. It's actually more like a pineapple coconut, but um, it's still a really good, interesting mix of flavors. But um, yeah, very similar to like the um, Vice City Red Con 1. That's probably the closest drink that I've had to this. And also tastes like some other strawberry guava drinks that I've had before, like the strawberry guava Celsius and the strawberry guava My Muse. So it's basically if those were like a G Fuel, I guess. If they had like the G Fuel like base flavor. But yeah, it has a really cool can design. Actually, both um, cans do, but um, I don't know. I actually think I prefer the red can. It's a little bit more, um, I don't know. It just looks a little bit more better, I guess, on my tablet and stuff. It's a little bit like it stands out more, I guess. Uh, I guess, okay, price per can, um, it's around $3 each at um, the vitamin shop or GNC, wherever you get each flavor, I guess. Um, but if you get a case, though, um, it's about a dollar something a can, so it's a little bit better if you order a case, I guess. Or sometimes um, the vitamin shop or GNC sometimes have sales. Sometimes you can get them like, uh, um, at the vitamin shop for like $1 a can. Um, so sometimes you might get lucky, I don't know, though, whenever they have their sale, you know. Be yeah, energy wise, I'll definitely utilize as a uh, huh, sorry, as 140 milligrams caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys, will definitely you lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, has the B vitamins and stuff too. So, I'd still say energy wise, last about four and a half hours, about five and a half hours of energy, mark a little bit more. So, oh yeah, boys, will definitely get you lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, really good. Um, very tasty energy drink, definitely a good mix of flavors, but yeah, it's mostly strawberry though. But yeah, it does have a little bit of a tropical taste too, though. Um, definitely know some aftertaste too. But yeah, sweet, but not too sweet. A little tart, but pretty good. Definitely more of a mellow flavor. I wish it was maybe a little bit more sweeter. Um, maybe if it also had a little bit more carbonation. This one's like similar to like the dragon fruit one, carbonation wise. Um, has a little bit of like a foamy, like bubbly texture on your tongue. Maybe if it was a little bit more, um, maybe if I had a little bit more carbonation, it might be better. It's a little bit light carbonation wise, but um, still pretty good though. It's a pretty good G Fuel, but um, yeah, not my favorite G Fuel though. Something about like strawberry guava flavors, um, I don't like too much, but um, I do like strawberry flavors just by their self though. But once it's like mixed with like strawberry and guava, I don't know though. Not my favorite type of flavor combination, but still pretty good though. There's something about it though, I don't know. Yeah, I wish you could taste the coconut a little bit more. But to me though, it doesn't really taste like coconuts. Definitely more like a pina colada flavor. 
Um, so this probably should have been strawberry guava pineapple coconut instead of that's just strawberry guava coconut, you know. Um, but yeah, still pretty good, cool though. It's out for a limited time uh, to promote that Spider Man movie. I don't know how long you'll be able to find this drink or not, so definitely be on the lookout for it, I guess. Um, you had to get the purple can at the vitamin shop and the red can at GNC, but um, all the GNCs near me don't carry it. Um, but my vitamin shop has like a lot of that flavor, see what I mean. So I guess just look around, I guess, at the GNC or the Vitamin Shop if you want this drink. Or order online, I guess. But yeah, thanks, Jeff, for sending me a case of the um, GNC design one. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's lit. Really good. Um, tasty. But, um, yeah, it could be better, though. Probably give the Strawberry Guava Coconut G Fuel Glitch Mix Energy Drink. You know what, boys? You know what? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh, yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah, it's a cool can design. Energy-wise, it works really good. It tastes good. Could be better, though. But still pretty good, though. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, my next review is going to be my 2,000th energy drink review video. Um, Hopefully, it'll be the um Cotton Candy Ghost energy drink that I'm going to be getting from Energy Drink Josh. I was going to be trading him some drinks. I finally got all the drinks that I was going to be trading him. Um, I was going to try to get this package ready last night, but um, me and my brother went to see the Barbie movie instead. So I didn't get home till like almost midnight last night. So we watched it at like um, 8.45 at the start of the theater. I was like pretty busy because last night was like the opening night. And so yeah, I had to drive home at nighttime, which I don't really like doing, but you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so... Um, I don't have too much time before the post office closes today because it closes at 12 at noon, I guess. It's already like almost like 11. So I don't know if I'll be able to get his package ready to ship out today or not. I might have to ship it out Monday. And then I'll have to wait to get his drink. So it might still be about a week till I get that drink. But um, I think um, Jeff was wanting to film me do that review. So I might need to hold off on filming that review. Um, but I don't know if I was going to upload this video today or not. I might save this video till I uh, upload it like around then, I guess. Like the 2000th review. Not really for sure yet. Um, but I'm anyway just here for my upcoming reviews, to more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.